кашу. that I am talking to you today is that I am far wiser than you. You should revere those who are educated and certainly not question their wisdom. You can, of course, try to answer my questions, but you probably won't be able to. I trust that you will hang on every word that I say and consider it carefully for millennia to come. Now, let me start my discourse on why the stars go round the earth. of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a lecture theatre, students to act and professors to behold the swelling scene. Think, when we talk of students, that you see them printing proudly their quills into the receiving parchment, for it is your thoughts that now... The use of chalkboards and slates in the early part of the 20th century made lectures much more interesting. Students could copy off the chalkboard and write it on their slates, and hence they would remember everything that I said. Blah, 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 blah. Now, as you know, the real Earth in this circuit, illustrated 
beautifully on my state-of-the-art whiteboard is here, and the virtual Earth must therefore be at the other input terminal. We can use podcasts for informal learning in conjunction with e-lectures. E-lectures are really great for transmitting information and students can study whenever and wherever they want. But e-lectures can lack some of the informality of physical lectures. They won't normally give feedback to students on how they're getting on. They won't associate what students are learning with current events. And they may lack some spontaneity and humour. So we can use podcasts for this purpose. Furthermore, the human voice itself is seen as important in helping learners to learn. Podcasts can be recorded quickly, easily and regularly, and students can listen to them whenever they have time. Of course, computer-aided techniques aren't always used appropriately.